Okay, part three of the spell. So if we look for things like uh, I talked about in the first two videos, um, after a while it becomes pretty evident we live in a spell. Uh, on to the government and its part in the spell. The government controls us uh, pretty much through the power of witchcraft, uh, through the powers that be, Fortune 500 style type countries, I mean, excuse me, companies, so on and so forth, that have so much power and regulations and laws and so on and forth, so forth. Uh, a good indication that, to know that you're in a spell is something that you can't normally see. And I know most everybody here has done research on the Bohemian Grove and the uh, sacrament or the uh, uh, sacrifice of cremations, uh, which is a uh, a uh, Satanistic uh, ritual that uh, is portrayed in a place called the Bohemian Groves, uh, either in the forests of California or Washington. I forget, but it's somewhere up there in the uh, back west. Uh, if you do a YouTube search of uh, Bohemian Grove, it will not be long before you come across a video that was filmed by a man by the name of Alex Jones that basically exposed uh, this uh, cremation uh, sacrifice, mock sacrifice. Some, some believe it's not mock, mock. some believe that uh, when all the people are gone and that uh, the yahoos have had their pretend sacrifice there are some that believe that they break out a uh, an actual uh, child sacrifice and and take care of uh, that uh, cremation uh, sacrifice up there before that altar of that owl on a human child uh, that being said, I don't know if it's true or not. It don't really matter. If you see the mock uh, cremation, sacrifice of cremation, you know that that's enough. But as you watch that video and as you read these articles, as you study uh, the things about uh, the Bohemian Grove and the goings on of presidents, vice presidents, uh, prime ministers, other presidents for other countries, uh, CEO presidents such as Coca-Cola and uh, heads of uh, uh, networks, TV networks, movie logos, movie mogos, so on and so forth. All these people that attend these things are all taking part in this weird thing where they go out there in the night and these people are wearing hoods just like in the old movies that you would see about Satanistic, you know, like uh, The Devil's Reign. I remember one old movie that... Uh, it took us to give us a, an inside look to a fantastical world, world of uh, Satanism. But once you see this video of these people doing this, it's not fantastical. I mean, these people are actually doing this. But anyway, after you look at this, the, the sign that you are in a spell is that, you know, a couple of years after you learn this, it really does not register anymore, which is witchcraft. I mean, Alex Jones, the guy who busted that story, busted it for that purpose. Witches always expose themselves because they can control it when they do that. And what you'll see with, uh, with how you think about it, that should be hands down. Before this world was suffering from witchcraft, if somebody saw somebody behaving in that manner, wearing those hoods and burning babies and, and so on and so forth, there was a pretty good chance there was going to be a witch burning. Uh, how many times have you ever seen the people that were burning witches to the stake as being fat, ugly, dirty, unjust, cruel people? And when you look at the witch in these movies, these old-timey movies, the witch was always young and skinny and fair and beautiful and, uh, oddly enough, righteous. And she just understood things. And the, the angry mob of dirty Christians that were burning the... Uh, see, these images and these stories come out of a witch owned and operated and ran Hollywood, Holy Land, their Holy Land. So you only get their side of it. 
But the actual truth is, they burnt witches for a very good reason back then. Because they put people in spells. And when people are in spells, they cannot function in a godly manner. They can only function as in accordance to what the spell dictates. So, uh, take a look at that Bohemian Grove and then ask yourself, those of you who have seen this Bohemian Grove uh, years ago, ask yourselves, why doesn't it matter any more to you than it does? I mean, shouldn't that really have been if the world was not in a spell, a great turning point. Shouldn't there not have been a great outsting of public officials and people in government power? If 50 years ago that film came out with public officials behaving in that manner, heads would have rolled. Whereas today, we can find out that there are people in the seats of power of our country and countries all over the world behaving in that satanistic ritualistic manner and then people watch the video and it just two or three months later it's like you never saw the video and then when you're discussing the possibility of the world being corrupt you'll even start taking up with the world ah oh, well it ain't all so bad I mean it's not it's a, what a bunch of crazy spirits, uh, conspiracy theorists would say, and you've witnessed it with your own eyes. You've witnessed with your own eyes what happens at the Bohemian Grove. Go back and read through some of those scriptures. Look for the word grove in the Old Testament. People were doing that in groves and in the high places all the way back to the times of Babylonia. Nothing has changed. The only thing that has changed is more people are now inducted into the spell. My mind goes to uh, the book that Paul most likely wrote. Some people think Luke wrote it, but the book of Acts, which I'm studying on another set of videos. When they came up to a guy by the name of Simon, who was in some little town, and Simon had that whole town and area bewitched. He had them all bewitched and the people in the town were talking about him like he was Jesus Christ himself. They had completely uh, given their faith to this man because he had them bewitched. That's the purpose of a job, the job of a witch. That's their goal. Why? Well, I won't get into uh, why just yet probably be in the next video as to what a witch's motivation is, but I will tell you this much, interestingly, if most witches don't know they're witches. Most witches will see a bunch of idiots on YouTube, usually fat chicks that weren't accepted in high school, that wants to have something that they can have power over people. Same reason you look at the little skinny gangly kid who becomes a magician, because everybody picked on him in school. And he's after that power you can get from magic. Because when you get people going ooh and ah, suddenly you have a strange power over them. You know, even some people that are true witches look at those types of people that would, what the world tells you is what a witch is, and they may even think that's what a witch is. And not even know themselves that they are practicing witchcraft. Now that's interesting. We'll talk more about that in the next video. So I'm going to end this video now and get on with my, my study and my acts. And then, uh, I think this will make three parts that I'll try to get on maybe tonight. And then uh, I'll try to get the other ones on as soon as I can. But the reason that I'm focusing so much on the witch thing within this thread that's going so crazy on the God Zone, which for anybody who don't know what that thread is, uh, I guess uh, I could go ahead and give you the name of that in case somebody needs to find it. It is in, you go to the God Zone, then go to the YouTube by tube section, and within that section there's a thread called Who Else Is Getting Shamrocked at the Fig Tree Cafe? So, uh, that, uh, the reason that I'm focusing so much on witch, witchcraft in there is a perfect example of witchcraft, and it's a perfect model to watch it in its action and watch it develop and watch it grow and watch the direction that it takes. 
and watch the witches actually try or actually uh, ineffectively quite adequately control the direction of thoughts uh, how they can turn some thoughts and uh, on and turn some thoughts off by the imageries that they put up by the direction of their talk and uh, it's the same thing you see throughout the government same thing you see throughout uh, churches to this day churches are very much uh, practicing witchcraft unbeknownst to most parishioners that go to churches today you can really see it more so in the Catholic Church than anything, anything else but pretty much most of it when you watch a big goofball preacher up there on the TV that's one of the biggest Christian preachers uh, TV programs in the country and they got hair piled up to here and they got runny black mascara crying down their, their face and they almost are comical that's witchcraft why does the world perceive that as being a Christ man? Because the witches want you to see that as Christianity. Because they don't want you to see the truth of Christianity. So anyway, with, with that being said, I'll, I'll touch on some of those things and others when I get into the next video. So um, yeah, uh, bear with me. It's going to take a while to get these uh, uploaded on YouTube. And peace out, folks. Oop. I hit the wrong button. Hang on, let me do my peace out again. Peace out. <laughs>